This is Chicago's very own WGN Evening News at 4. Mother Nature's snowmaker kicks up on Lake Michigan, bringing lake effect snow to northern Indiana and creating dangerous conditions on the roads. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ben Bradley. And I'm Jenna Barnes in for Lourdes Duarte. We want to take a live look outside here in the city. Well, it's nothing like what we're seeing in Indiana right now. Now that ice on the Chicago River breaking up, no snow downtown, but Demetrius is here with uh, what folks uh, are experiencing yeah. elsewhere. Yeah. yeah, a lot of times we hear from Northwest Indiana viewers that say you don't talk about us enough. Well, <laughs> we're going to talk about you today and I'm not going to say it's for good reason. That lake effect snow is creating whiteout conditions and it continues to cover portions of I-80, I-90 at this time. A winter storm warning remains in effect for you and, uh, and uh, all the areas shaded in uh, pink there. There's also a wind chill advisory. We'll talk about the cold temperatures a little bit later, but let's take a look at these visibilities. Your visibility in South Bend is down to a third of a mile. Now the problem is that it's been that way for some time. So we know whiteout conditions, accumulating snow. This is the type of thing that our road crews are uh, experienced in dealing with, but it's uh, certainly not an easy task. So here's what we're seeing on the satellite radar composite. Very impressive lake effect band. Basically what's happening is you have that cold air converging along the lake. Uh, the lake is warmer than that air, of course, so that air rises and look at how this thing is just coiling through portions of LaPorte County at this time. Good news for us is it's now kind of moving east of LaPorte County, east of Michigan City, so you get a bit of a break, but our computer models do show it meandering back to the southwest before today and tonight are done. So right now, right along or in South Bend is where we find the heaviest of the snow, whiteout conditions. I would say traveling east out of Chicago along 80, just a bad idea um, mm -hmm. into tonight or to early tomorrow. No doubt. Thanks, D. Thanks. Well, winter weather, as we've been saying, is really taking a toll on northern Indiana. It sure is. That blinding snow and slippery roads are making getting around there treacherous. WGN's Angelica Sanchez is out in the thick of it. She joins us live from LaPorte County with more. Hey, Angelica. Good evening. Well, state police here are telling us that they've responded to dozens of crashes caused by this lake effect snow. At times, drivers are facing nearly whiteout conditions. This is why LaPorte County leaders and Michigan City leaders are asking drivers to stay home tonight. Man, it's terrible. Heavy lake effect snow is causing hazardous travel conditions in northwest Indiana. The worst of the storm slamming LaPorte County. The last I heard, they had 18 inches on the ground and more coming. A spokesman for Indiana State Police says troopers have responded to dozens of crashes since snow began to fall overnight. We've seen a lot of jackknife semis today, and uh, we're seeing more and more car crashes as the day goes on. A travel warning has been issued for LaPorte County due to the influx of lake effect snow. Indiana State Police is asking drivers to avoid I-94. If you can delay that travel uh, for you know, several hours or maybe until tomorrow even to give uh, this storm a chance to uh, fizzle out and end. Meanwhile, the mayor of Michigan City has declared a snow emergency. It's been an interesting three weeks with two storms in a row, but uh, last night snow started about 10 p.m. and we've accumulated about 18 inches of snow. She says all is being done to keep people safe. For the public, just to be patient, um, we understand um, that you know, some people need to get out and go to work, but we want them to be as safe as possible. With more snow on the way, the mayor predicts the city will be digging out through the weekend. We'll be running crews all uh, 24 hours uh, tonight and possibly into tomorrow evening. So uh, that's where we're at right now. Now, the latest from state police as a few moments ago is all westbound traffic on the Indiana toll road is being diverted away from LaPorte County due to multiple crashes and slide offs being reported. They predict the cleanup could take hours live in LaPorte County, Indiana. Angelica Sanchez, WGN News. Thank you, Angelica.